I know what a scaredy cat you are. I literally, just, oh. when I work with you, I just go boo and you literally rise. <laughs> I know. Off I'm, the I am the worst person to do this job. No. I'm just Why did out you there. say yes? Do you know why? Because I. I did uh, Most Haunted Live a few mm. years ago with, with the team over there and I've grown up loving them type of shows and I would say I'm not a sceptic, I definitely mm. believe that there's, there's stuff out there but I've never really seen it, do you know what I mean? You haven't and, seen it and you're still believing? Well, no, I, I want to believe, I suppose, but after doing the show there is places I will never, ever set foot in again. Really? Oh, where? where did you do? So yeah. these were all on location, These were all they? on location. So we did a live episode last year and I just want to put it out there Please don't judge by that live episode. It was uh, all over the shop, but it got people talking. But this time, when they but, asked but me to do it... The thing is, it, when it's live, you've got such a short amount of time. It was So this, well. you've got more time to explore and theme. We spent done hours it. in each location. About group. 12 hours. 12 yeah. hours in the dark? Well, it was six different locations. We've done six episodes. Yeah. And the scariest thing was is that when I agreed to do the show, I said, look, I'm more than happy to do this show but I want it to be a really small crew so I can see everyone who's there, make sure no one's throwing something across the room yeah. or banging on a wall. And I'm not saying my word's gospel and you've got to believe it at home, but I genuinely give you my word. Anything that you see on this show, unlike some other ones out there, nothing is set up. So and you are convinced now, 100% convinced? Oh, DVO, let me tell you. <laughs> I, I can't even speak about certain things but that happened us, on tell, the show. Tell us, who are the ones that you won't ever go back to? The Ragged Why? School Museum, where Why? we grew up. Where we grew up what, in, in East London. London? Yeah. Why? It, it, it was the most frightening... Well, three of our celebrities and, and our expert, Alex, our psychic, who, by the way, I've known for ten years, and I said, I'm not going to do it if she's not doing it, because I trust her. I know she's not going to lie. Um, they all saw an actual man, an actual man walked towards them. What, not a ghostly white... No, an actual oh, man. What was he wearing? I, I don't know what he was wearing, because I didn't see it, but I run. I, t I run. <laughs> I run for my life. Yeah, everyone always says, what were they wearing? But was, always. Did they, all see, did they all describe the same person? They all described person, the same, same person clothes. to the point where we actually run out of the building into the street and one of the girls on the show could still see the man in the window. <gasps> I was too frightened to look. I was like, Gabrielle, like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> You I'm get... no expert, Janet <laughs> But you should have looked. No, it, 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 we've had some really, really near misses. One place that we went, we went to a place called Fort Halstead, and this was our very first recording. It's not going out in the same order. But first got there, and obviously I was excited. What, is it a house? Or... No, it's, oh, a fort? it's an underground fort. Oh, okay. so it's like an underground tunnel network. And this was before the cameras were there, so I said, let's have a little walk about. Me, Alex, and, and my producer, Nads, who's one of my good friends. So we're walking down this tunnel, and like I said, there's no cameras or anything like that. We get to the end of this tunnel, and it's bricked up, and it's underground, it's just earth. It was like an unfinished mm. tunnel. And we could hear keys jangling. And I was like, is there a door here or something? And then we heard a key go into a door, clear as day, and, like, unlocking a door. And I sort of stepped back, and it was really low ceilings. And you're very tall. And, and I'm very tall. <laughs> and Alex turned around and went, I think we better go. Now, I can't tell you this enough, right? If you were to go on, like, an internet search engine, not mention any names, but if you were to type in your typical old man ghost voice, your stereotypical ghost voice... Like this. It's like comedy. <laughs> it's a, I, I swear <laughs> to <laughs> God, oh, my God, strike <laughs> me down. This voice went, <laughs> go! <laughs> I've run, I've run straight into a wall. <laughs> no way luck. And then, through the tunnel <laughs> network, I can hear my producer, because they were doing interviews with the celebs, going, can you keep the noise down? Well, I've just followed the boy. I've got a headband on, tracksuit, no makeup. I look like the girl from The Ring. And I got there, and I think it might make the edit, because we didn't obviously have a camera with us, and I'm literally crying, I'm bleeding, I'm like, help me! But from that moment on, that was our first recording. Not report. dramatic at all. No, not at all. <laughs> but from that moment on, that's when I said, we're not doing a walk around, because if there was a camera there, that would have been a really good yeah. proof of what we heard. So, from that moment on, me... So, you Alex, do believe that places are haunted and you now believe in ghosts and people on the other side? 100%. And so I'm the sort of person... these ghosts? Are they cross people? Oh, people Dave, who... Gillian... No! <laughs> are, they, are they people who are cross, who've got a set of score to say? I mean, why are they lurking around in the yeah. dark? Well, there was, there was one, actually, you. and we've got our, our paranormal investigator, Ashley, as well, and he's very sceptical, so he's the one who's got all the gadgets um, that we use throughout the show, and him and me, you'll hear me, and I want to say apologies to anyone watching, my language on this show is not daytime friendly <laughs> because when I get scared, you know oh, my no. default words. It's not good, so I want to apologise for my language, but I, I'll sit there and have a go at the crew. I'll be like, was that your foot? Was that your foot? <laughs> and we went into a room. Bobby Norris, actually, you see, oh, is on tonight's show. Oh, he's brilliant. Bunker. And do you know what? He was brilliant as yeah. well because he's very open to it. He don't know if it's true or not. But we went, again, at this fault, 
on this walk around that we were doing, like I said, it was the first record, me, Alex and Nads went up to this room and I said to Alex, Alex was like, there's a very oppressive force in here and it's a bully, it's a bully. And I was like, that's odd. And it was really odd because I was a bit short for breath in this room. And I said, Alex, this sounds really strange, but I need to lean my back against the wall. And she went, what do you mean? I went, I, feel, I don't feel comfortable unless my back's against the wall. Mm. Anyway, we did the show. We then went into this room with the camera crew and Bobby come over really funny. I was like, you're right, Bobby. He's like, no, I feel really panicky. And he went, I feel like I need to put my back against the wall. Wow. And I said, I looked at Alex and obviously we'd not spoken to the celebs at this point. And then Alex said, there's a gay soldier in this room and he's being oh. tortured. He's been, I know, no, it sounds funny, but it was actually quite a sad story. And in, we, they look back in the history books that and this actually happened. turned out to be true. <gasps> that it was a corporal who was very homophobic and they knew that this soldier was gay. Wow. And they basically used to abuse him and, and, and stuff like that. It's terrible. But obviously, a derogatory term that people might yes. use against gay guys is backs up against backs the wall. Backs against the wall, yeah. And it was so odd that the two gay members oh. of the team both walked in that room and went, I feel like I need to put that back. Like, yeah. Now I've got to ask you. What have you got to ask me? <laughs> You're more frightening than the ghost you are. <laughs>